Close to your family. Whoa! That's a big family. Where's everybody going? Out of the reef to deeper water. That way we'll be safe from the big storm. Big storm? What big storm? The one that's heading this way, mister. If there's a storm coming, I better make sure everyone in the reef is safe. So long, matey! Yow! You sure have a big grip for a little lobster. Thanks, mister. See ya! Mom! Mom! He said I have a big grip! That's nice, dear. Quasi! Can you hear me? This is urgent! There's a big storm on the way, and you've got to get back to the octopod before it gets here. Aye. Just let me do a quick check of the reef to make sure everyone's safe. Don't worry, Captain. I'll get back before the storm gets here. Captain, the storm is coming quickly. It's only ten minutes away. Quasi, we'll keep the octa hatch open for as long as we can. Thanks, Captain. Yow! Sea urchin in trouble. Away. Aye, aye. Gotcha. Calling all up to know. Quasi. Pizza. Shelter. Dishy. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Lobsters live on the ground. Check, check. They don't swim, they crawl around. Check, check. They're kind of small, can hold them long. They're not big, but their claws are strong. They don't get scared in bad weather. Check, check. They head down deep and always stick together. Let's break. Go, lobsters. Reef lobsters. Reef lobsters. Creature report! Creature report! Creature report! We're done with our mission! Octonauts at ease! Until the next adventure! I don't see anything. On the rock! <gasps> but I know I saw them. How could they just disappear? Captain, there's only one explanation. This place is haunted by a ghost pirate. A ghost pirate can make himself and anything he steals invisible. He sneaks up on you, just like... Growl! Just like that. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a ghost pirate. A lot of things have, you know, disappeared. And every time we chase after the thief, Whatever it is, instead of us chasing him, let's make him come to us. 
We'll put something out for the thief to steal. When he comes near us, the alarm will sound, and then... We'll get him! How about this? Perfect. Now we wait. Captain, are you sure he won't see us? Good question, Peso. Time for extra camouflage. <laughs> Steal that seaweed moustache from under our noses. Ha! We found the thief! Here he is under all our equipment! Now, uh, oh! <laughs> Easy there, fella. Just return the things that you stole from us. That's all we ask. I didn't steal anything. Then how do you explain the fact that our equipment is attached to your shell? I'm a decorator crab. A decorator crab? Yeah, a decorator crab. I attach things to my shell for camouflage so nobody can see me. Especially sharks. That radar dish belongs on the octopod. The spyglass belongs to Quasi. And the bandages are pesos. I didn't know they belonged to anybody. I, I was just trying to blend in, that's all. I put them on, I take them off. It's no problem. Thank you. Ah, guess I have to find some new things to cover my shell. You know, there is something we can let you keep. This seaweed moustache will help you stay camouflaged. <laughs> Thanks. A gift to you from the Octonauts. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Calling all Octonauts! Quasi! Peso! Chanta! Dushi! Inkling! Wait! <clears throat> Quasi, activate Creature Report. Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Crabs have claws that grab. Check, check, check. Anything that they can now. Check, check. Decorators use disguise. To hide themselves before your eyes. With an algae covered shell. Check, check. They can hide from predators really, really well. Shots break! Go crab! Go crab! Go crab! Creature report! Creature report! Creature report! We're done with our mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure! Hello. My name is Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. Can you tell me your name, please? Uh, get me out. OK, Mr. Get me out. Uh, now, this won't hurt a bit. Oh, my name's not Get me out. I want you to get me out of this shell. I'm... Oh, stop! Oh! Ow! Oh, it's no use. Here. Maybe I can pull you out. No! Oh, ow, that hurts! Sorry. Oh, I told you it was no use. Don't worry. We'll get you out of that shell somehow. I know someone who can help us. What do you think, Tweak? I'll cut open a shell with my Octo Slicer, and he'll be free easy as pie. Here. Now, what are you doing? We're going to remove the shell for you. We'll just cut it open and... Stop! Please stop! Oh, hello. Stop? Why? Listen, I'm almost too big for the shell I'm in. I need a new one. And that shell is just right, just right! It may be too small for him, but it's a perfect size for me. He's not the only hermit crab around here, you know. <laughs> oh, well, let's get on with it. If you cut that shell in half, it'll be ruined, ruined! I'll never find another one like it, and believe me, I've looked. 
If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep changing shells anyway? Oh, because hermit crabs can't grow their own shells, so we borrow the shells of other animals for protection. We move into one shell, grow up, get bigger, and then move to a bigger shell. So what can we do, Tweak? Maybe I could just cut off the shell and then try to glue it back together. That's too risky. I think we need a new plan. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. Captain, I've never performed a crabectomy before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crabectomy once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Aye, aye, Captain. Step one, steady the shell. Step two, fasten the hose. Calling all octonauts! Quasi! Peso! Charter! Dishy! Inkling! Wait! Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi, activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Hermit crabs don't have a shell. Check, check, check. They hunt for one that fits really well. Check, check. They find a shell that they can fit inside. And live there till they grow too wide. That's how hermit crabs know when. Check, check. It's time to find a brand new shell and move again. Let's break. Not at ease until the next adventure. Quasi to Captain Barnacles. Barnacles here. Go ahead, Quasi. Peso's been knocked out, Captain. I'm on my way back. Barnacles out. Who's there? Oh. Peso! Can you hear me? I... I... I'm okay. Tell me, did you see the shrimp monster, me hearty? No, but there was a big boom noise like you said, Dashy. <gasps> oh no! Don't those belong to the captain? Yow! We've got to find him! I'm coming with you! I'll call you if I see the captain. You help the captain. I'm going to stop this shrimp monster once and for all. Yeah. I can hear it, but I can't see it. And your giant claws, you scurvy beast! <gasps> oh no, you don't. Peso, bandage wrap now. <laughs> I surrender! I surrender! You're the giant shrimp monster? I'm not a giant shrimp monster. I'm a snapping shrimp. Snapping shrimp? Yes. I'm one of the loudest creatures in the sea. We noticed, but why have you been attacking octonauts? <laughs> I'm the one who's been under attack. I thought all of you were after me. So I did what a snapping shrimp does. I use my loud claw snap to protect myself from animals who want to eat me. We promise we don't want to eat you. Ah, we thought you were coming after us. 
Sorry for the misunderstanding. <laughs> no hard feelings. But do you think you could untie my claw now? Um, no more snapping? Snapping shrimps, Honor. But how can such a tiny little thing like you make one of the biggest sounds in the sea? Hmm, I don't know. I just kind of snap my claw like this. Uh, no! All right. I was just trying to work out how my claw makes that boom, that's all. Calling all Octonauts. Quasi. Pacer. Charter. Dishy. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <coughs> Quasi, activate Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. This is called a snapping shrimp. Check, check, check. She's little, but she's not a wimp. Check, check. When she senses trouble coming round, she snaps her claws and makes a great big sound. Though the snapping shrimp is small, check, check. It's one of the loudest sea creatures of all. That's break. Go shrimpy, go shrimpy, go shrimpy. Creature report! Creature report! Creature report! We're done with our mission! Octonauts at ease! Until the next adventure! You two are so loud that the sea snails can't get any sleep. Eh? Sorry! You see, you're too loud. No, you're too loud. I am not too loud! Yes, you are! Oh, Captain, maybe loud. these two would be better apart. They are two separate creatures, but they need each other for food and protection. Symbiosis, remember? Aye, but maybe they really just need a break from each other. A, a break, break from, from each, each other. other? Why didn't I think of that? Ha! <laughs> I'd be fine without you. Um, no, I'll be fine without you. Uh, uh, oh, I'm free! <laughs> no, I'm free. Ha! Yeah, hear that? Quiet. It's sleepy time for snails. Thank you for your help, Octonaut. <sighs> Enjoy your sleep, little sea snail. Are you both all right on your own? Ah, uh, well, uh, I could use a lift to the other side of the reef. You know, a fresh start and all that. Captain, I'll give him a lift. <laughs> Good luck. I don't need a thing. I I'm just fine on my own. Oi, you, get off my rock. Oh, yeah? Talk to my pointy friend about that, buddy. Uh oh. Ah! Ah, that's more like it. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, uh. Well, no. When I had that spiky urchin on my shell, I, I look scary. Nobody mess with me. I suppose I don't look scary anymore. I'll help you learn how to stand up for yourself. Really? This looks like a nice rock for you, me hearty. Nah, too crowded. There wouldn't be enough food for me. Okay, uh, what about that one? You kidding me? Too small. There won't be enough food for me there either. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving. You just need to make yourself look big and strong. Rah! Now you try it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, nearly. You know, when I travel with the crab, he always shared his food. And what about you? You got any snacks for me? Uh, no. Unbelievable! No snacks! Well, what are you gonna do about that? You said you're gonna help me, so what's your plan, buddy? Oh, I don't have a plan. Calling all Octonauts! Quasi! Pizza! Charter! Dishy! Inkling! Wait! Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi! Activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Crab has an urchin on his back. Check, check, check. So urchin gets to share the snack. Check, check. 
But there's more to their connection. The urchins give the crabs protection. Crabs and urchins help each other. Symbiosis means they depend on one another. That's right. Our mission. Octonauts at ease until the next adventure. <gasps> A boss, mateys, over here. What is it, Quasi? Look. <gasps> <laughs> Professor Inkling, do you see how slowly those lobsters and crabs are moving? I do, Shellington. Very strange. Do you think it has anything to do with all this algae? Hmm, not sure. Though this does seem familiar. <laughs> These creatures are poorly. We have to help them, Captain. Agreed. But first, we have to work out what's wrong. Oh, poor little fellow. What do you make of this, Quasi? Never seen anything quite like it. Psst, come on, this way. All this algae seems to be making them ill. Professor, have you ever heard of such a thing? I've observed this problem before, but where? <gasps> Hold on, Shellington. I can check my books. To the library! Cap, look at this. There's a leak in this pipe. Hmm. I wonder if that could be part of the... Hmm? Oh! Ah! Oh no! The octopod is taking off without us! We've got to catch the octopod! Octonauts, to the gups! Octonauts, we've got to get back on board the octopod. Yuck! More algae. Wazi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Gup A to octopod. Gup A to octopod. Come in, octopod. Professor Inkling, this is Captain Barnacles. Can you hear me? Please come in. Got A to Octopod. Is anyone there? Come in. Hmm, now, where are my books about algae? I know they're here somewhere. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh no, I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> The largest crab in the entire ocean, with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch! No. It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? 
mine. My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. A goochie, 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 goo. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> Calling all up to know. Quasi. Peso. Shelter. Dishy. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Fat spider crabs grow very old. Check, check, check. To 100 years we're told. Check, check. The biggest crabs under the sea. They're as big as they can be. To pinch her arm so they can grab check, check, check. With eight legs like a spider It's called a spider crab Let's break! No crabby, no crabby, no crabby Creature reports, creature reports Creature reports We're done with our mission Octonauts at ease Until the next adventure Not a crab to be seen. Maybe we need some bait to get them to come out. There. No, over there. <gasps> the coconut. It's gone. Tweak. Spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi, you head left, and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw. On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. But there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah, how did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. 
It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. My babies! Mummy! Coy! Tim! Aaron! Calling all up to them. Quasi, who's that? Giant crab, that's our gob. Oh, whatever it is, it ain't our leader. <laughs> Fiddler crabs, we are the Octonauts. We need to work together to stop our gob and save your leader. If we don't, your homes will be destroyed. <laughs> we will let you help us. No more snapping. And you may tend to my claw. Stop that gob! Yeah! <laughs> There's only one way to catch it now! Buttons! Peso! Uh, look out! Lappity flippers! Victory is mine! Uh, uh, Captain! The Gup D made too many tunnels under the sand! It's created a sinkhole! Hold on, Peso! What? Yeah! <laughs> Quasi, give me your paws! Ah! Ouch! Allow me, mon ami! The octoscope! Octonauts, grab off! What now, Captain? We'll have to swing for it. Ready? Ready! <laughs> Good work, Octonauts. Luckily, none of the Fiddler Crab's tunnels were destroyed by the sinkhole. Oh, thank you. You saved us. Our beach is clean, the giant crab is defeated, and our homes are safe. This calls for a celebration! Calling <laughs> all up to them! Quasi, Pizza, Delta, Dixon, Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi, activate Creature <laughs> Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! 